guys, it's Lexi. I hope we're all doing well. I have a wax empties video to share with you today and what I melted. All of the wax in this video was a part of my previous melting basket. I also have some candles I finished. I have some soap, but I'm not gonna talk about those in this video. I know they're in this container. This is just where I throw all of my empties. Um, so if you see those and you're like, talk about that, I will at the end of this month in my next um, project use it up video. But I have a ton of stuff to talk about, so we're gonna dive into it. And I think we're gonna start with my non-wax empties, but the things that I did melt but didn't finish. So let's jump in with these two bakery bags, actually. So this first one I have is Wild Berry, Wild Berry Tulips. And this is from Southbound. It is notes of tangerine, wild red berries, fresh picked tulips, water lily, and honeysuckle with notes of musk. And this one I left some notes on in the back. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 for throw. And I said that the floral in this really took center stage on warm. It is a very pretty springtime scent, which is funny because when I smelled this on cold, originally when I hauled it, I really thought that it was more of like the tangerine and like the wild red berries and it was more fruity. But then I warmed it and it was like very, very floral. So it kind of shifted a little bit. I could still smell some of those other like scent notes like the tangerine, the berries, because it was like a, a little bit of fruitiness in the background but definitely all of the florals came out first and I really did enjoy this. I'm happy I have some more, so I'm not, you know, gonna actively seek it out, but I really did enjoy that scent. And especially I've been like really digging. I didn't think I would be, but I've been really digging florals these past few weeks. I pulled a ton, of course, for the May flowers basket, but I've been loving it lately. So one that I actually have going in my bathroom right now, which is also I use two cubes of, this is a honeysuckle jasmine melt from That Smell Good Shop, and it is literally just notes of fragrant honeysuckle and sweet jasmine. I gave this a 7.5 out of 10. I said it is a beautiful, um, well-balanced, powdery, but sweet floral. And this is just like a, like it smells exactly like if you've ever had the, um, I think it's, is it wild honeysuckle from Bath and Body Works, that candle. And then if you mix it with a really beautiful, sweet, jasmine scent. I love both of those florals. Those are actually two of my favorite florals. So I loved this. Very bright, very happy, very floral. Of course, it's only florals, but definitely once I use this up, I will get more of this scent. I love it. This one actually is funny because this was in my previous melting basket, but I had such an itch to just use some more of this scent. So it wasn't in this actual basket, but I pulled it and used it and I actually have it in today. It is, um, a little bit nicer out today than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was storming all day, but you can definitely still see some of like the storm clouds overhead just kind of blowing by. It's been very weird weather, but it's so warm today and there is like sun that's kind of shooting out of the clouds here and there. So I wanted something nice and fresh smelling today. So we had all of our windows open and this is going right now. It is Zapes Spring Cleaning, which is clean linen, juicy fruits and fresh spring blooms. And this literally just smells like the best clean like like I said like all the windows open the breeze is blowing through smells just like clean laundry like you washed everything wash the walls wash the curtains like everything is just fresh and clean and this is just like one of those perfect like spring cleaning literally spring cleaning but it's like the perfect scent for you know the perfect name for this scent it's really beautiful so I'm happy to have used more of that and I only have one rose left of it now another one from Zape that I have going today in my living room this is wild and free which is wild spring breeze in orange groves um this well this one I would say is definitely a little bit stronger of a scent and definitely has a little bit longer lasting power I'd give this one like I don't know out of 10 like a eight, nine, like it's quite strong and it has some good lasting power. This one is a little bit less, probably like seven, six and a half throw. Um, but this one is a really, really pretty scent and it smells like spring. So the orange groves, I think it's just like a neroli kind of like an orange blossomy scent. I'm not entirely sure what the wild spring breeze is, but it just smells fresh, clean, sweet. It's not like a laundry scent. And it's not like a cleaner scent. It just smells like, sounds silly, but it just smells like clean air, like fresh, clean air with like, like a neroli kind of like orange blossom scent in the background. It's a really pretty scent. Um, it's kind of wearing off now. This has been in my warmers all day. But it's just, if you like orange blossom scents, I feel like this is just like a pretty orange blossom type scent. So I have one more flower left of this one as well. So I might just carry these over to another melting basket coming up soon because I kind of just want to use those um, 
because they're like perfect springtime scents and pretty soon we'll be in summer and I'll want to melt like those like warmer non-florals you know what i mean like tropical drinks and stuff like that this is raspberry peach macaron and this is from bath and body works it's a chopped up candle i know there's still like a ton left in this i have been trying to use this um but luckily this one is still go like doing well with its lasting power it definitely hasn't like diminished even though you know sometimes these bakery bags aren't the best so i double bag this one there's like another poly Bro poly pro bag underneath in this bakery bag um, I'm thinking that that's, that's probably what's helping the scent stay a little bit longer. When I threw this in my warmer in warmers in my kitchen the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this scent. Every time I warm this scent, I remember how much I love it. And then I'm like, I want to melt more and more and more of it. Um, but I just, I have so much to get through and I just wanted some more variety. So I didn't pull it, but I really do love the scent. Um, it's been doing really well and I'm probably going to stick this one like those other in another melting basket coming up soon just to kind of use it. Um, but I do love it. This one here is Destination Wax, My Love from Another Star. It is strawberries, cotton candy, and magic spell. Magic spell is like the Victoria's Secret love spell dupe. I gave this a six or seven out of 10. To me, this was just an extra sweet like love spell scent. It wasn't anything that was like blowing my mind. I feel like I've had another one from Destination Wax that has Love Spell in it. And I think it's Love Spell and Marshmallow. I think I prefer that one over this one. So if I were to rebuy either one of those, I would get that one. I think it's called Magic Spell or Magic Marshmallow. Could be wrong. Um, I'll dub double check and like leave it somewhere. But yeah, this one is nice but it wasn't my favorite of the Love Spell scents from Destination Wax. And then I have two from Rose Girl. So this first one I'll talk about is Star of Wonder, Star of Night, which is Strawberry Euphoria and Serendipity. And Strawberry Euphoria is like her house blend of like a bunch of different strawberry oils. And then Serendipity is like a um, cherry coconut and whipped cream type of scent. I've talked about this one a lot before. I love this scent. I gave it like a 9.8 or like a 10 out of 10. It was so strong. I said it was beautiful strawberry jello with a real strawberry chunk in it and homemade whipped cream. That's exactly what this smells like. I love the scent. I will forever repurchase the scent. Every time I see it offered, I will get more. This one is right up there next to Moo Moo Track for me from Rose Girls. Those are like my top two favorites. Um, definitely could not recommend the scent more. It's delicious. If you love strawberry, you would love this. I think. I do. I, I guess I can't speak for everyone, but I love it. And then the other one from Rose Girls is um rainbow road and this one's getting a bit old so this one needs to be used up as well but i didn't finish it this is lime jello strawberry soda and blonde moment this one is really pretty it's definitely um luckily it's not fizzy pop like sometimes fizzy pop um sometimes pulls like almost slightly like cleaner esque to my nose i know it's not i know so many people love fizzy pop but sometimes fizzy pop because it's such a strong oil like it in either like it overpowers other scents that it's blended with. Um, and then it's like usually everything else burns off or like, you know, evaporates off or whatever. The scent oils of whatever it's blended with dissipate and then you're left with just like, I'll talk about that later in this video, but you're kind of like left with this fizzy pop scent and nothing else. And then it just kind of smells like cleaner-esque to my nose sometimes. I don't love fizzy pop, but this one doesn't have any fizzy pop in it. This is probably the closest that I would get to like loving any type of fizzy scent because the strawberry soda brings like a bubbly kind of quality without being overly like lemon lime fizzy pop esque. And then the lime jello kind of adds a fun like lime quality, but it's the jello, so it's not as like effervescent. effervescent. Um, and the blonde moment is like champagne, which is also kind of bubbly and fizzy. So this does give you kind of like that bubbly, fizzy quality without being fizzy pop so if you are like me and you don't love fizzy pop scents but you want to have something that's kind of summery bright fun fruity kind of bubbly then this is a good one um i believe that this only comes i don't think i've ever seen this one come out any other time besides during her mario collection um but i know sometimes she'll throw in like a random mario scent in certain releases pre-orders uh, ready to ship sales and stuff like that so I think if you guys want to try this one or have this one that you're holding on since the, you got it in the Mario collection, I think the summertime is like the prime time to melt this one. Rainbow Road, it's definitely bright, happy, fun summertime scent. All right, so all the rest are complete empties and I have five complete empties of clamshells. I'm feeling really good about this. Two are Scentsy. The first one I have from Scentsy is Jumping Jelly Bean. Um, I'm not entirely sure the scent notes. I will leave them if I can find them, but I picked this one up 
Um, not really sure what I was thinking about it on cold because I could smell like this strange, like almost green type of quality coming through, almost like grassy kind of, it was odd. Um, but I'm very happy to say that once this was in the warmers, that kind of weird scent note that I was getting that was green totally went away. And this became just like a really bright, fruity pear type jelly bean scent. It really smelled delicious. Um, I did enjoy it quite a bit. It was very, very strong, it lasted for like two days. It's just now kind of starting to dwindle in my Yankee Candle centerpiece warmer and my um, 25 watt bulb warmer in my office. So I'm probably gonna pull it, but I did really enjoy it. It's not anything that I feel like it was in my club. I totally, on cold, I was just like, no, I don't need it. Um, I'm not totally regretting it, but I did enjoy it. And if I did see it brought back, maybe in the future, maybe I'd pick up another bar. I liked it, but I wasn't like obsessed. Um, but it was pretty surprisingly enjoyable. So that was Jumping Jelly Bean. This one here is something that I am still kind of debating on what I want to do with it. So this one is Stargazing from Scentsy, which is notes of um, petals, cotton, and vanilla is what it said on their website. To my nose, and I wrote this, I said this 100% smells like a sweet Nog Champa. That's what it smells like to me, kind of like incense like a Nog Champa incense kind of scent um, with like a little bit of like a maybe vanilla sweetness added into it. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a floral or a cotton. Um, like I, it just smells like Nog Champa to me. I don't know, does anybody else get that kind of like earthy, kind of hippie, Nag Champa, and Scentsy kind of quality to this. That's what it smells like to me. I really enjoyed it, but I'm not sure if I want to keep this one because I do know there's a couple um, vendor scents that are kind of a similar scent or vibe that I would probably just rather prefer to pick up over this one, but I'm happy to have tried it. I'm still debating. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep that or take it out. I don't know. My club is getting a little full. Um, I have two scents here that are Walmart waxes. This is Sensationals and this is Better Homes and Gardens. So let me talk about this one first. This is Crystal Healing and it just says an aura of sun-kissed citrus on here. To my nose, this is a very like clean, fresh, almost like a laundry, but like if there was a guy who had sprayed cologne on his shirt or like a hoodie or something, and then you washed it with like a, a really like bright, laundry detergent type of scent but you could still kind of get that lingering kind of masculine cologne quality to it i love this and i had um four cubes left of the scent i ended up putting four each one of these cubes in my four warmers in my um, living room and it did amazing it was so beautiful it smelled so clean slightly masculine it totally translated from cold to warm it didn't really change or do anything like differently it didn't like shock me it just smelled like a beautiful, sweet, fresh, clean, slightly masculine scent. And I 100 and like a million like percent would get this again. I don't know, it's just a limited edition, so I don't know if it's even around anymore. I would honestly even debate like looking up if there's any available anywhere else I could buy this. I loved this, this was so beautiful. Um, and I remember liking it the first time, but I loved it the second time. So really, really good one. If you guys see this, totally recommend picking that one up. It was amazing. This one is Better Homes and Gardens, and this is Rainy Spring Day. I ended up picking up this scent because I had a um, another scent from Walmart. I wanna say it was like the mainstays, like thin kind of clamshells that are like cheaper um, and smaller than these ones. And it was an, it was another like rainy, scent like a rainy spring something scent or spring rain or something like that and i thought that this was the same as the other one and didn't smell it in the store but then i got it home and this one is not at all the same scent the other one i melted um to my nose it was like i think it was mainstays brand if i can think of or like figure out the name of it i'll leave it somewhere that one to my nose just smelled so much more like authentic like aquatic rain type scented this one is very masculine to my nose, um, really in a, in a strange way. It's almost like, there's something also kind of citrusy about this. It's like a, I think there's bergamot maybe in here. I'm not entirely sure because there's no scent notes, but I wanna say that there's probably like a bergamot note. Um, I don't know, it's just a very, 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 very sharp, bright cologne type scent to my nose. 
Um, this one in comparison to that last one that I showed, this one was definitely a lot less strong. Um, I had one cube at a time. There was like four cubes left, I think, in my bathroom. And it did okay in my bathroom. It's not a large bathroom, so of course it did okay. Um, but it wasn't in like in comparison to the Better Homes and or to the mainstays one that I had before. I definitely preferred that one, I think, more because this one was very masculine. I liked it, but I didn't like love it. And if I was like going to Walmart and like I saw this, maybe I'd pick it up again. But if I saw this, I would like 100% pick it up. So um, kind of different experiences there, but that's okay. This one here is the Bathing Garden Just Jasmine Frost. And this one to my nose literally just smells like a straight up floral jasmine. It's not, this one also isn't my favorite type of jasmine. Tom said when he smelled this one, he said it smelled like um, new shoes and flowers. And I was like, what? And he's kind of right. There is like this slightly like, you know, the scent of like new shoes when you get new sneakers and you kind of smell it and you almost get like a rubbery kind of quality to it. It smelled like that plus floral. It wasn't my personal favorite, but it was darn strong. This was incredibly strong. Um, so that was great, but it wasn't, once he said the thing about the sneakers, he kind of ruined it for me because before I wasn't getting that and I was enjoying it. And then he said that and I was like, darn it, Tom. Now I, all I can smell is that. So I pulled it out of the warmers kind of soon. But um, if you like Jasmine, maybe like, you know, check it out. But um, I think I definitely prefer uh, Destination Wax's Jasmine oil a little bit more than this, especially now that Tom ruined it for me. Thank you, Tom. So I also finished up the entire sampler from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. This is the office sampler. Um, Harrison is no longer in business, so I'm not going to go like into huge detail on all of these but i will tell you guys my thoughts here so this one is terrible toby which was peeps cuppy cake and cake batter ice cream this was honestly for a scent that seems like it would be super light was honestly very strong and very very like delicious delectable vanilla bakery goodness it was just a very very sweet vanilla scent um i really liked it can't get any more but it was enjoyable and lasted a good long time. All of these are honestly right around, I would say like seven to eight out of 10 for throw. They all did really great for me. I always have had such a great experience with Harrison's Wax, so this wasn't a surprise. This one is That's What She Said, which is Trace Leche's Cake, Pop Rocks, and Rainbow Sherbet. This was like a really creamy, fruity type of scent. I really enjoyed it. Um, can't purchase, I can't keep saying, you can't purchase it, but. Sometimes it's like a bummer, especially when you really love a scent. Uh, this is Jim and Pam. This was Cherry Chunk Blondies, Freshly Brewed Coffee, and Frosted Almond Cookies. I gave this one a uh, 7 out of 10. I said it was a like cherry almond coffee bakery scent. I really enjoyed that one. Also, this one was really good. This is I Declare Bankruptcy. It's Sugared Shortbread Cookies, Caramel Coconut Birthday Cake. And this one I gave an 8 out of 10. So yummy loved the coconut bakery um and coconut bakery and caramel combo so i liked that the way it came across was just like really really sweet like bakery coconut like a coconut flake like baked into like a baked good oh this was really really good i loved that uh this is parkour this was berry jam donuts filled with creamy peanut butter i said that this one was a yummy deep rich berry and peanut butter scent seven out of ten this one is Dunder Mifflin, which is strawberry marshmallow swirl bread. This one was an 8 out of 10. I said this is a sweetened strawberry zucchini bread scent. It was very long lasting. Out of all of them, this one like just wouldn't quit. So that was nice. Um, even though I don't love zucchini bread, I did enjoy that one. And then to finish it up, we have a bunch of bags here. So the first bag I have is Rose Girls Best Friends Forever Club. This is pineapple lemonade and frosted cupcakes. I really enjoyed the scent. This was a very, like a very, very bright, happy summertime bakery scent you could absolutely get the pineapple jenny's pineapple is like a very good realistic pineapple smells like you honestly cut open a fresh pineapple plus with her lemonade oil which is like incredibly strong so strong oil strong oil and then like that cupcake which just added like this just nice sweetness to it all this was a really nice one super unique i enjoyed it quite a bit this is lemon clothes on the line this smelled exactly like what it says. It smelled like a lemon laundry scent. I had this in my bathroom and I enjoyed it when I warmed it in there. It was just like a good average throw for a bathroom. 
This is Beth baking from that Smell Good shop. This one was a custom I made, which is buttercream icing, chocolate cupcakes, and milk chocolate. This is a very, very rich chocolatey scent. It was a good middle of the road performer. It wasn't crazy strong. It was probably like a six out of 10, um, but it was nice for what it was. And it definitely gave like a warm kind of bake, baked good bakery kind of scent vibe to the house when I warmed it. I liked it. This one here is, um, Alyssum, I believe is how you pronounce this, from Zape, which this was sent to me in like a mystery sampler. This is a type of flower. I looked it up. I said that this was a beautiful, sweet floral scent, eight out of 10 and love. This had some crazy lasting power for being like a floral, like a very like soft, subdued, pretty floral, not powdery, not headache inducing. Honestly, if you want to tiptoe into flowers and she offers this again, I'm going to get like so much of this scent. I loved it. It was beautiful. It was so sweet, almost like a candied type floral. I loved this. Um, I really hope she brings it back. Um, yeah, it was so good. I Alyssum. It was amazing. Love that one. This is one of the good ones from Rose Girls, and I love this scent. It is steel coriander, moss, bergamot, sandalwood, and kale. I give it a 9 out of 10. So strong, fresh, clean, masculine, a beautiful bathroom scent, like a freshly showered man, similar to Sensi's Mystery Man. Not the same, but very close, so I love that scent. I just repurchased some more of it, but I will always repurchase that one. I really enjoy it. This one here is Three Little Birds from Rose Girls, which is um, a blend of Caitlin's Caribbean Congo line, which is a secret fruity blend, plus Love Yourself, which is strawberry shortcake, mango sorbet, and Rice Krispie treats. I gave this one a 6.7 out of 10. It was mostly like a tropical mango scent. Very fruity, very bright, very happy. So that one is a nice one. I don't know if I would necessarily repurchase that, but I did like it. This one is Taste the Rainbow. I gave this one a nine out of 10. This was very strong. And I said that this reminded me of Fruit Loops. I'm not sure if this is just like her single Fruit Loops oil. I couldn't find if it was like described as anything else, um, but it reminded me of Fruit Loops or Zebra Gum. If you guys know that like Zebra Gum where you can put like the tattoo of the zebra, like from the wrapper on your tongue and like you chew it for a minute and the scent's gone or the taste is gone. That's exactly what this reminded me of. Very bright, fruity type of scent. This one here is another Rose Girls, and this is in the whole world. This was a chunk muffin, and this is scent notes of um, the olive branch, pink sugar, and bergamot. And I looked up the olive branch fragrance oil notes because I wasn't sure. I guess it's a lush type, and the lush type said mandarin orange flower and silky olive oil. I gave this an 8 out of 10. I said I loved it. Super unique. Um, super unique something and sweet bright and sweet maybe yeah bright and sweet this to my nose is so odd because it literally smelled like it had like this olive oil quality i mean it says the olive branch and it says olive oil in it but it literally smelled like olive oil i don't know and i didn't think it would translate well on warm but it really did it just smelled clean and bright and happy and i usually don't like pink sugar but i love bergamot and just the combo of all of these like very odd things i was I have Heavenly from the Pharmacist Daughter, which is Neroli, Bergamot, Lemon, Jasmine, Ivy, and Vanilla Be Noel. This was a very like powdery, floral, very pretty, definitely something that reminds me a lot of like, um, kind of like, you remember back in the day, well, back in the day, I, I know that my grandma um, used to use like these big compact like powder, like a white powder puff, like perfume kind of powder thing. That's to me exactly like what this smells like. It smells like the powder that she would use, like the powder puff, like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys know, maybe you know, um, like a perfume powder. That's kind of what this reminded me of. Definitely reminded me of like a very powdery, florally kind of scent, um, but it was really pretty and I liked it. So yeah, kind of reminded me of my grandma. So that was nice. This one here is Java Heaven. This is Rainbow Melts, which is black coffee, whipped cream, and cookie heaven. Um, I was surprised that this one wasn't super strong, especially because it was like a coffee from Rainbow Melts, and usually I have a really good luck. This one was a very, very subdued coffee, not very strong at all. It was three, maybe out of 10 for me. Then I have three cents from Zape to wrap it up. Two of these were carried over from my Easter melting basket. I only had a little bit left, so I wanted just to finish these up so I didn't have to 
carry over like two little chunks from you know last year to the next Easter season. Season, I have fizzy beans, and this is sweet jelly beans and citrus fizzy soda. This was a really good scent, and for somebody that doesn't love fizzy pop, I did really enjoy the scent. But I will say, in fizzy pop blends, do this every single time. Whenever you have fizzy pop blend, whatever it is, blend with usually. Um, burns off before and then you are mostly just left with that very strong very overpowering fizzy pop oil um so when i first melted this i loved it it was sweet and really bright and fruity and fizzy um but then once the jelly bean kind of quality melted off or the fragrance oil of that kind of burnt out or whatever you want to say it was just fizzy pop and then i pulled it of course so because I, I don't love fizzy pop but if you love fizzy pop then you probably love this and I, i'll definitely grab this next year when i see it back even though i'm not a fan of it. it kind of won me over so that was nice and then this one is frosted carrot cake which is fresh baked carrot cake sweet buttercream frosting i talked about this a little bit in my last one i really love this um yeah, so I, I probably talked about this in my last one too. Both of these, I'm sure I talked about in the last video. I can't even remember now, but I did like both of these. I'll definitely repurchase both of these um, for next season if they're offered. And then finally to wrap it up, this one is Sweet Surrender, which is shortcake, glazed strawberries, and vanilla cream and waffle cone. I wanna say she said that the oil, one of the oils that she was using in this was discontinued. So she's no longer going to be able to make this exact scent. So for that reason, I was kind of sad to use it up. I really did enjoy this one. The um, strawberry oil in this kind of reminded me of like a fresh pick strawberry kind of oil mixed with some really delicious bakery scents. I did really like this, but you can't get it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to try to like recreate this down the line, but I really did like it. And if I saw a recreation, I'd definitely grab it and try it. Um, and that was it, you guys. That was my entire empties video. So Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing and hearing my thoughts on these and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.